We're the Great Western Air Ambulance Charity and we're funded by you. She reared up and fell over on top of me. I was so scared, I thought I was going to die. I have ridden since I was about seven. I used to go to the riding stables and I would muck out horses just so that we could have a free lesson. It was actually on the 10th of October that everything changed completely for me. I was at a riding club event, riding my horse. I came up to a particular fence. She refused the jump. I turned to come again, and instead of jumping, she reared up and actually fell over completely backwards on top of me. When we departed and we were en route to the job, we were kind of open-minded to all possibilities. We knew that she was injured, but we didn't know how severely. Roger, that's all copied. I was completely conscious. I hadn't been knocked out. I was in the most excruciating pain that I've ever experienced in my life. A lot of what we bring by going to a job is not necessarily the speed at which that patient can get the treatment. It's the quality of treatment, and it's about actually how that patient is managed pre-hospitally. When the air ambulance arrived, my fear just totally sort of subsided. I felt safe. I'd broken my back and I had a spinal injury. My spinal cord had been severed. I was popped on a spinal board, given medication. And all I remember was Greg, who was one of the doctors. He did not leave my peripheral vision. He was there. We flew Sally Ann to Southmead Hospital in Bristol because it is the major trauma centre for our region. I went to theatre and I had a nine hour operation to stabilise my back. And I was told that I won't ever walk again. I'm paralysed from the waist down. I have no core stability, no balance, and being on a horse is very different. I competed at the local county championships and it was the best feeling in the world. It was exhausting, overwhelming, but it's just the start. There wouldn't be a critical care service, there wouldn't be pre-hospital emergency medicine if it wasn't for air ambulances in the UK. The Great Western Air Ambulance Charity works very closely with the ambulance service but provides things that the ambulance service are unable to do. The stuff that the medical team here can do, it still blows my mind even after eight years. So important, so please, please donate. They were like knights in shining armour. I will always think of them like that. And I absolutely do believe that if I didn't have them in attendance on the day of my incident, I think things could have been a lot worse. <laughs>